Hey everybody, I'm Dr. William Sterrett with Vail Summit Orthopedics and Neurosurgery. This morning, we are gonna talk a little bit about meniscus tears. So the meniscus is the cushion between the femur and the tibia, and everybody's worried about it, and rightly so, to worry about the cushion in my knee. If I tear my meniscus, can't you just sew it up? I wanna keep all the cushion. The problem is, if it's causing symptoms, it's already doing damage to your knee. So we gotta do something. Either we gotta sew it up or we gotta trim it up. You can't just leave it alone. Here's the issue and here's the big dreaded secret about all of us maturing, is by the time we're just 40, our meniscus has lost about half of its blood supply and half of its elasticity, like a, a cold rubber band now instead of a warmed up rubber band. That's why when we were 15, we could jump and tumble, go mogul skiing, jump off of uh, rooftops and nothing ever hurt. Now, everything feels like it hurts, but the problem is a little bit of twist will now tear a meniscus where it was more rubbery before. And the second problem is it's lost about half of its blood supply. So even if it's torn, it may not be able to heal. I can sew up anything. I can sew tissue paper to tissue paper, but that doesn't mean it's gonna heal. You need a good blood supply. So the art of all this and our job, or my job, is to figure out which meniscus tears have good enough blood supply to heal so that I can sew it up for you. So let's go through the uh, knee model just a little bit now. When we look at the inside the knee, between the femur and the tibia is this meniscus. Here's this cushion, and you can see it looks like a little sponge uh, between the femur and tibia, and in fact it is. If you look at this closely, it's thick on the periphery, and it's thin or knife edge on the central and most aspect. So it kind of cups the knee as well. Why that's important is because the uh, peripheral aspect is the important part of the cushion, right? The central aspect that's just a knife edge isn't such an important part of the cushion. So the central half of it, even when we're 20, doesn't have a good blood supply and can be trimmed up if you tear it there. The peripheral aspect is an important part of the cushion and does have good blood supply. That blood supply unfortunately creeps back a little more peripheral, a little more peripheral by the time we're just 60. Uh, that uh, blood supply is only on the outer quarter maybe at best. So you wanna find out where that meniscus tear is, what kind of meniscus tear it is, does it have a good chance of healing? For me, I usually counsel folks that if it has a 75% chance of healing or more, I think it's worthwhile sewing it up. If it's a 25, 30, 40% chance of healing, it's not worth the uh, double and triple rehab times to sew it up for you. So when you see your meniscus tear, ask your sports medicine doc, is it the type that can heal? Is it the type that can't heal? Is it the type that's worth sewing up? Not all meniscus tears need surgery. If it's asymptomatic, there's nothing I can do to make you better if it doesn't hurt. Just because you have a meniscus tear doesn't mean you need surgery. It's the symptomatic ones. What are the symptoms? Locking, catching, swelling. You get one of those or m multiple of those symptoms, you need some attention to it, especially the swelling. The swelling's telling us, Mother Nature's telling us, you've got a high friction system going on in there. And that's because something has flipped up in the wrong place and chewing up that cartilage in there. So, swelling, locking, catching with a meniscus tear, a little minor trauma, let's get it looked at. If you're asymptomatic just because you have an MRI that says you have a meniscus tear, it does not mean you need to get something fixed. We've been using a lot more stem cells over the last five years trying to figure out if we can speed up Mother Nature or help Mother Nature get these ones that don't like to heal back healed up. Come in and ask us about it. On the bottom, you should also see any of our contact information. We love talking about this, so reach out to us as well and uh, see where you stand with all this on a meniscus tear. I'm Dr. Bill Starr with another one of your Sports Medicine Minutes. Thanks.